The reason I've chosen to talk about this painting is that I think it's an exciting portrait showing a young, sensitive, androgynous looking man. For me as a woman viewer, he also speaks of certain dreams because he presents himself as a beautiful object, perhaps a beautiful object of longing. The symbolists were interested in the artist as a seer, and you can ask yourself what it is that Torvald Eriksson sees. Perhaps he's looking into a new male identity, perhaps he's looking into the coming century, the 20th century, when man becomes liberating for woman, sets woman free. It's a century typified by female emancipation and by a more androgynous male type who shuns masculine gender dominance, traditional patriarchal dominance. This is the man of the 20th century. It's stimulating for me as an artist to see this work. It's exciting to see a classic representation of a handsome young man who offers himself to me as a viewer. He offers himself because he doesn't confront me directly with his gaze. He looks away so that I myself can look at him undisturbed. It's interesting for me too as an artist because I'm interested in the representation of the male. Many of my drawings and montages feature the handsome man that I myself make the object of the classic pen and ink drawing. So in that sense, I can say that as an artist too, I can relate to this picture.